Uh, we're actually partnered with our UK partners to come up with a Coalition Assured Autonomous Resupply. Uh, the Coalition Assured Autonomy Resupply project is a really significant uh, collaboration between Science and Technology UK, US, but also the practitioners as well. You know, I think what we tried to really highlight was the full supply chain going from the depot to the convoy to the last mile ground to really complete that entire loop. So trying to show how we can use autonomy to support the warfighter and, and everything that has to do with resupply in all domains. How we can reduce the cognitive load on uh, Army sustainers or UK or, or British sustainers and logisticians uh, to make sure that we can get the right equipment, the right thing to the right place at the right time. So it's broken down into three main components. There's a convoy piece where we're looking to move bulk cargo, sometimes in 20-foot Connex containers, um, down to the larger units, and then that's broken down. And then we have the two other projects, Autonomous Last Mile Ground, which then takes more like SMET size platforms, uh, size of about a car, to deliver more like palletized stuff uh, to the units that are farther out that may not be by a road. Uh, uh, we also implemented a weapon system on one of those so they can defend and to or be sent out to investigate. Um, and then there's the air piece, and the air piece is broken down uh, into several different uh, platforms to lift and drop cargo into different areas where we need to get supplies fast. Because I think what we are witnessing is the benefits of uh, practical experimentation, what we're calling in the Army prototype warfare. And we're going to be doing more of this, looking to get capability in the hands of the users more quickly. 